Retail hard library is trying to find me. That crack. That crack. That crack. Re retail hard library is trying to find me. That crack. That crack. That crack. He said, shake and we get married at the strand. His Friday reads are bad so he can't have my hand. You bought so hard? Okay, you're bowling. But I read so hard? I'm JK Rowling. Read so hard? We have History Fair, kids doing the Black Sox. A great resource is Elliot Asinoff's Eight Men Out. We have this book in our stacks, um, and we have Elliot Asinoff's papers that are in our archival collection, but just because it's such a perennially popular topic, we moved his actual book here into the Research Center. One of the other more recent offerings that we have here is Natalie Moore's book on the South Side. And so among other documents that she used, she actually also made some great use of our photographic collections around the city, uh, not all of which are government in nature, but um, are a great example of using visual evidence as well as documentary evidence to make her, her arguments about uh, the development of the South Side over time. In terms of visiting the research center and using our material, our catalog is available online. So we have a number of people who search in advance of a visit and email us, um, and, a and a number of people who just show up. And either one is fine. We are different, though, from you know, an OpenStax library like the Harold Washington Library. It's not a really browsable collection. There's the material that's out here in the research center that's used often enough that it needs to be right here. But um, there are always two reference librarians on duty at the reference desk because it really requires some, uh, some walking through the procedures. I, I strongly suspect that people use our collections for, for more creative projects, um, both that are multimedia or more artistic in nature. And I wish that we saw more of the results of those um, um, most recently, um, as part of a fellowship program through the Black Metropolis Research Consortium, we had someone in who is a scholarly researcher who is pursuing graduate studies in theater, who was looking at the history of um, African American education, and particularly education of women in Chicago. And her, she's her project is yet to be finished, but I know that part of it was going to incorporate sort of a, a, a stage performance of some kind. So I'm really excited to see that when it comes out because to me that seems like a very unusual use of our materials. We're um, a little less dry, a little more transformative in nature. This is the financial soundness of the city of Chicago and this is 1909. He says, in the first place there is absolutely no excuse for the careless, if not malicious, speaking and writing which have a tendency to spread and broadcast the impression that the city of Chicago is bankrupt or nearly so, nothing could be further from the truth. Well, and, and here we are again, so <laughs> 1909. That's what always occurs to me when I think about what we're collecting now versus what you would see um, in terms of collections that we used to, to bring in, um, where maybe in th terms of thinking about positions of power, where early, very early collections tend to reflect people who held very traditional and conventional powerful positions, elected officials, yeah. uh, people you know at the heads of companies, things like that. And we do still collect that, but we're, we're much more focused on thinking about what helps us tell the wider story of Chicago. And so I think that's where, uh, and, and in no small part, you know, Archie Motley, as Ellen mentioned, we, we very much try to look at the people that make up Chicago, um, not necessarily people who hold those traditional positions of power, but who are leaders in their communities in different ways, or participants in their communities in different ways, and, and represent the full spectrum of, of things that are happening in this city, not just someone who, you know, is the head of this corporation or, or this particular, you know, office, that we try to look for, for some of those broader stories, because that, that really does actually reflect the history of Chicago in a much, a much more um, in-depth and accurate way.